Well, this post-apocalyptic uh, coronavirus world is probably as quiet as my front yard is going to get being on a main street. Um, this is my little bog I created. I still need to finish killing the grass around it and put down some river rock, but this thing's been here over a year. It started out smaller. Um, made it in like a little... Uh, parts washing tray originally this really dark red stuff right here is uh, cranberry and see I saw, there's some berries some berries right there try zooming in a little bit on them so I'm kind of shading the the sun's at my back here but uh, remember to zoom out but uh, yeah, basically it's a kiddie pool. I put a, a bunch of peat moss in it, a couple little sprigs of sphagnum that I brought home. All you need is like a little pinch, it'll spread. And uh, you know, I've actually got a couple kinds in here. I, I planted a couple little sprigs of cranberry that I had found, and they, you know, they taking over the world here they're trying to extend out I had both kinds at one time I believe I've only got the large one surviving or maybe only the small one but uh yeah I'd have to take a closer look um, the one type has more oval leaves the one type has more triangular leaves and larger berries but Here's another look at the berries here. So they're of the smaller variety of berries, but I do have rather triangular looking leaves here. So um, all the little sedges came in here on their own. These, these little guys just came the last year. I don't know where they came from. This mound in the middle is what the original thing was. And I've got pitcher plant in here. I mean, this, this has been in here for several years. And he died back a little bit, but you can still see some green there. And new pictures coming up from the bottom. This is last year's flower. There was a flower from the year before. Um, I thought I had a clump, but apparently I've only got one. I planted them from seed. Um, one of the other few additions. I've tried growing sundew with no success. Um, it rained last night, so a lot of water here. Um, and now I got a lot of glare trying to look at my my viewfinder here. But uh, yeah, I mean it's it's not rocket science to do. I'd like to try doing a a calcareous fen next. But uh, you can kind of see the square shape here. Whenever I transplanted it in here, it kind of floated up and ended up becoming kind of a hummock in the middle. Because so I originally had it filled basically to the edge here. And I uh, said so that rose up in the middle and the rest of it settled. Which is alright, because it kind of it kind of worked. My, my uh, pitcher plan is holding on. Maybe I'll be able to start some other stuff in here, but this is what I got for now. Um, I also get a, uh, a Swamp St. John's wort that grows in here. I don't see any at the moment. Um, I think this dead thing right here might be one. But they, they get pretty red leaves in the fall, but then they kind of die back. And you can see kind of clumpily this stuff's spreading. Plus, I'm, this piece right here I just brought in. This is all you really need grab a little piece like this this is really long we can see like the surface area that's only you know like one square inch it's just that's the length of them and uh that's all you really need to get moss going sphagnum moss will spread really good when it likes it and uh yeah, that's about it for this a little bit farther out there walk over after this traffic passes because it's kind of noisy even this far back from the road 
foot. A little bit of sand and this here is a prickly pear also native this guy he came from a little piece from Delaware many many years ago he used to grow in a pot he's been here for like two years um, he's a little shriveled and looking rough from winter still but he'll take off again whenever it gets warm just got to be really well drained uh, soil uh, sandy or gravelly soil for them to grow they do fine overwintering 